There are a lot of trade shows and conferences all over the world. Sarah, what differentiates IFA? We believe that IFA is the show where all consumers can see the broadest uh, possible product uh, innovations of all the consumer tech they are involved with. So not only consumer electronics, but also home appliances, smart home devices, digital health devices, audio, video, it's all here. And we want to make the consumers and also the trade visitors see what is in store. When we look at this year's EFA, are there any specific technologies that stand out? Yes, what we really see as a trend topic is sustainability on the one hand and uh, AI on the other. That uh, those two topics uh, really are seen in many booths and in many ways. And we have uh, such a broad um, possibility to use these um, devices nowadays. And they are innovated in such a way that sustainability really takes a big part of it uh, that it's interesting to see. We know how beneficial market data and research is for businesses, but how important is it to the consumer? I think it's very important because it makes them see what uh, is in store, what uh, they have not the possibility to research themselves. What are the trends and where is it going? Where do I save the most uh, in energy consumption, for example? And uh, what are the new trends, innovations? What can I expect from the future? Uh, these are all things that market research helps to uncover for them. And uh, on the other hand, and if we do consumer studies, that's important for the trade retailers, for the industry themselves, because they know what are the interests of the consumers. And so it all goes vice versa. We saw the world shut down because of the pandemic. What kind of impact did that have on consumer purchasing behavior? What are some of those trends that you saw change? Well, in the pandemic, everybody was confined to their homes. And so we saw that uh, people started to uh, um, upgrade their homes because they were spending more time at home. They were cooking a lot more. They were using their uh, TV um, as a cinema or the concert concert hall, which they couldn't visit outside. So I think um, a lot of people really um, occupied themselves a lot more with these devices and they wanted to learn more about them and uh, to have uh, more possibilities and more options to use. So I think the people actually learned how to really enjoy these devices a lot more during the pandemic and, and we clearly see that. Some could think of this trade show as a European-centric conference. How do you go about positioning it as a global event? This is definitely a global event. We want to make the world see what uh, there is in the market and is available. And for the brands, it's definitely not only a German or a European um, thing they want to look like. It is a global scale they want to showcase here. And um, I think it's a very good opportunity for them. And they really enjoy being here and uh, showing their products to the world. And uh, it's both to the trade visitors, which they do the business with, they want to show what they have in store, but also to let the consumers see what is possible with their devices, what you can expect. And many of them also have prototypes and studies shown there what to expect in the years to come.